I have a sense we're the worst at it in the top seven, eight nations in rugby on form selections. If you look at Rory Best, Peter O'Mahony, Connor Murray, Johnny Sexton, the core leadership team within that squad for the last 12 months have been poor to awful on a number of occasions, all of them. Um, O'Mahony seems to get a, a free pass a lot of the time on it because, you know, he does the unseen work which is the, the the rugby intellectual's way of saying, you know, he's getting through a lot of work, but you don't you don't actually see it, but I do. Yeah, That's I should rubbish, point out like, that you had, you used air quotes there when you said unseen work, okay. uh, given it's a podcast. Yeah. Okay, but, um, you know, Best has been poor, yeah. Johnny's been very poor. Murray's been very poor. They're, they're key players. Now, if you look at England, you've got George Ford, who's been outstanding for you, just gets drops. There's there's no national outcry. Bowden Barrett's the best out half in the world. He just gets moved aside because Richie Mwunga comes in. Now, Wales lost Gareth Anscombe. They won a Grand Slam with Anscombe. He was brilliant. Just get on with it. It sounds like there would be a national inquest. If any of Best, O'Mahony, Murray or Sexton, it was even questioned that they should be dropped because there was articles coming out going, these guys, you know, ultimately we need to rely on these because they implement the game. How about we stop relying on guys who aren't playing well and put in younger guys or guys who are playing well, at least give the guys a kick up the arse or at least change it up. But as long as you perpetuate the idea that we can only be at our best with four or five key people who implement what the coach wants, you're, you're becoming very one-trick based.